Okay, hello everyone, this is Nightmare, and I am playing with Ranger Ryan 01, and we are going to be playing a little bit of, um, yeah, yeah, Gold Knight 007, thank you Ryan, I couldn't really think of how to figure that thing out. The music's already glitching up on me. Whoa! That guy just happened to come out of the corner. I don't think he should be saying that. Like, what if the Russian guy's watching this? Like, what if a Russian guy's watching this thing? He's like, now it's time to go kill Ryan 01. Well, I mean, if it was an American guy, he'd be like, kill that American guy. Okay. I have a terrible aim. Got some ammo, though. Anyway, I've been having a lot of trouble lately with my video recording, like, apparently the disc data space on my thing is just, like, so completely low, it's just uneven real, and it's fuck this is all the way around, so that just makes me really pissed off. Oh, holy shit, 10 grenades. I'm going to break this computer. Um, but I've been having a lot of fucking problems with this. Videos for Zelda, Mega Man, uh, Kirby, and Star, Star Fox. Fox. And None of them worked. They all kept saying that my disc data was too low to fully record the video. But after doing a bunch of shit on my thing, um, I think I finally got it. Yeah. So, huh? Yeah. That was a quick little drop shot for you. I didn't even have to drop there. Oh my god, you dick. I've actually never played Gold Knight. There are many years since I've had one of the games. I never got to see it. What's really just like completely confused the fuck out of me because Gold Knight was like the game of my childhood next to all the Zelda games I used to play. It really revolutionized first person shooters though. It, well, it did. Oh my god. I'm gonna hop inside this and grab my little happy fruity little ass out of here. Okay. Um, this game though was completely mind boggling whenever it came out. Everyone wanted a copy of it. And even right now, it's still considered an extremely good game. I'm like, they have a lot of remakes of it and resells and replay value and re shit. I mean, it's just incredible of how much praise this game got and you can clearly see why though and how good it is I mean you if you play the James Bond theme I mean a lot of music themes that if you play a lot of people some people won't understand the reference you're trying to get at there I mean if you play the James Bond theme though it's universally known every almost every single person will recognize that song I mean that's it's you know, due to the movies and stuff too but yeah, it's a lot due to the movies, but I mean, whenever this game came out, it, it revolutionized everything. The gaming industry, James Bond movies were never really even the same either, to be honest. This game had such a high impact on almost everything that had to do with, well, everything inside the gaming community, movie community, James Bond community. I mean, like, people just went berserk over this game, and you can clearly see why, though. Eminem. I know, but you can clearly see why. I mean, like, the game may not look fun, but I can guarantee you, you sit there and you play it for a little bit, you, you'll be addicted as hell. It's funny how my mom would never let me get this game, or any other type of, like, shooter, murder games, yet she let me play Majora's Mask. Now, that game scored me and gave me nightmares as a child. But, this game, I mean, compared to Majora's Mask, it's kind of relaxed. Yeah, kind of. My nice little quiet, soft bullet sound in the echo, I just love it. I mean, killing people shouldn't be a relaxing hobby. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying, like, yeah. I am. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm just playing. Um. 
unless you're playing Call of Duty, then Call of Duty would be hard. Even though I really am not a big fan of Call of Duties. Not many people are nowadays. I'm starting to lose some cred. Um, as you can tell, this isn't very funny right now. Well, I kind of want to focus. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, it, it to some extent, I guess you can kind of find some of this stuff funny. We're going to try to work on a little bit of humor here inside this little short video we're making, but we're right now, since we're playing James Bond, 007, Goldeneye, um, I kind of figure it's more of a factual type kind of video right now than a hilarious one. Just because there's so much behind this game that most people don't know, and the people that do know just... Like, if you open the door to this game and look what's behind it, you know, there's just so much behind it that you don't even know. Heh, <laughs> you know, 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 Oh my god, you sound like that girl Mary off Pokemon Talk with Professor Rogue. It was... You ever... If for any of you guys that play like Pokemon um, Soul Silver and Pokemon Regular, just Silver, you guys should know what I'm talking about. Whenever you turn tuning into the Pokemon Professor Oak thing, and they're telling you about all the mass outbreaks and like where all the Pokemon are, and then Mary, every single time Oak has to mention a name or something, Mary always comes in with her own little fucking poem that she writes about these Pokemon that have nothing to do with the Pokemon, like Remoraid. A beautiful, vibrant color explodes into that inside of every single wag of a fucking tail. She's <laughs> that, that was quoted. He did not take any liberties with that whatsoever. Nope. It's <laughs> exactly what she. That's exactly what that bitch says. Directly from the game. Don't I'm reading the quote. I'm reading the quote right now. You think I'm playing this game? Nah, no, this is pre-recorded. <laughs> Oh, that's surprising. I would have figured that there'd be something behind these bookshelves. Those, those are boxes. What the hell am I even saying? Those bookshelves aren't even bookshelves. <laughs> They're inanimate squares that they just put into the game. No. Did you shoot one of those barrels? Shoot one of them? I'll shoot them all. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Throw grenade it. There we go. Sniper shot. Let's go. I wonder how boxes explode. <laughs> you explain that to me. But I mean, like, it's a box. What are they holding inside of it that's gonna cause it to explode? Nukes? Are they fucking shipping nukes into this bitch? I mean, I really wouldn't. I would really hope not. That'd be terrifying. That would be kind of fucking terrifying. But you know what would be even more terrifying? What? I'm going to make a little critical quote here. You know what would be really more terrifying? If you took a shit, and instead of you taking the shit, the shit took you. Took you where? I mean, it just took you. It drags you down to the toilet bowl and drowned your ass. Like, okay. Depends. You want to take me? <laughs> yeah. Shit happens. I mean, depending on where it took me. If it took me out to dinner, it took me... I mean, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be too bad. It, it this does not seem extremely safe. Look at that. They have a helicopter landing sequence on top of a fucking um, uh, frozen lake. What? Denied. My access was denied. I'm probably going to get filled up with a bunch of um, enemies now that are just rushing at me. Rushing. But Yeah, there you go. There's one of them already. Oh, my God. There's three of them. Let's go. I, mean, I can almost guarantee you I'm not gonna die there just because I'm like a complete marksman. Even though the game automatically pre like loads the character onto that thing for me. I'm just gonna walk on like walk backwards and do this shit. I, I, I oh my god, I play fucking 007 in my sleep. You think I can't do this? As I'm sitting there writing my little random text messages while I'm sleeping and shouting at the top of my lungs, sheer woods in my stomach, I do this. 
Why are you making me shoot with the videos? You're right, I actually should, shouldn't I? I haven't played sure in such a long time. Right? I mean, it's all in your stomach though, or something. No one did get that reference unless your name is Tara watching this video. Or me. Wow, that took too many shots. I thought this was supposed to be a sniper. <laughs> Why is he holding a sniper like he would a pistol? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that sequence just happened and God just like decided to rewind time and just like do it all over. Time and space classified. Oh my god, I actually completed the mission. <laughs> you know what? Before my thing tells me go fuck yourself, I'm done with your little titty asshole. I'm gonna end it right here. This is Nightmare. And Ranger And we are signing out. Farewell. Even though you guys can't see these little contorted hand signs I'm doing to so sell you guys goodbye. I saluted you. I was doing like gang signs and really contorted, contorted contusions. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Yes.